And you'll never have to wonder how hard I'm willing to fight because I fought my whole life to get to this spot right here tonight. No one handed this to me. This wasn't bequeathed to me. This wasn't bought for me. No one put me on a pedestal and walked me here. I got here under my own steam. My great-grandfather and great-grandmother came here on a boat from Sicily. He was a mason and she was nine months pregnant when the ticket was pulled. So they had a choice to make. Do they get on that boat or don't they? My great-grandmother got on that boat and she delivered my grandfather in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And I'm sure it won the QE too. I can guarantee you that. And uh, so one thing my mother used to tease her father about all the time. She used to say to him, you're nothing. You're not an Italian. You're not an American. You're nothing. You were born in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> and my grandfather used to get so hot. It was the only thing I can remember. I was very young when he died. I was seven years old when he died, but I do remember him getting mad about that. And I remember him getting red in his neck and he would say to my mother, don't say that in front of my grandson. I'm an American. They made me an American when I came to Ellis Island. My grandfather was incredibly proud that his mother got on that boat when she knew she was gonna go through childbirth in the middle of the ocean. My grandfather was incredibly proud that he was made an American as an infant at Ellis Island. And this is what's so great about this country. His grandson, the man who was born on a boat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, his grandson is going to be on the ballot tomorrow for President of the United States in the first in the nation primary. This happens nowhere else in the world, everybody. Nowhere else in the world. And so you all owe me nothing. Nothing. I've had the most extraordinary experience of my life in the last nine months here in New Hampshire. Extraordinary. And I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Have no doubt I wanna win. And I wanna do as well as I possibly can. And so here's the deal I'd like to make with you. If you're a supporter of mine, and if you're gonna vote tomorrow, in return for me being exactly who I am, for all four years that I'm president, I'd like you to do something for me tomorrow. No matter what size your car is, fill it. When you go to vote, fill that car. Call your neighbor, call your coworker, call a family member, call a friend and say, hey, I'm going to vote now. You don't have to worry about driving, I'll take you. Because I'm filling my car. Because I made a deal with the governor. I said I'd fill my car if he would be an honest, hardworking guy as president. I think it's a great deal for you people. <laughs> Fill your car tomorrow. Think about what a difference you can make if you do. Not only for me, but for our country. Because New Hampshire is going to determine, you're going to determine tomorrow who goes on and who goes home. I got a flight schedule for South Carolina on Wednesday morning. I intend to take it. But I'll tell you this. I want to take it with a 100 mile an hour tailwind from New Hampshire. I want you all to send me off as your guy. I want to always be able to say in my life that the people in New Hampshire met me, got to see me, that I opened my heart to them, they opened their heart to me, and we made history together. Because that's what we can do tomorrow. We can make history together. I want that job. Not because I need another title. I got plenty. Governor. U.S. Attorney, son, brother, husband, father. I got enough titles to last me the rest of my life. I don't need another one. I want this job because I love this country. And I do not want to see it continue in the path it's going down. I don't want our kids to grow up with anything less than what I had. I want them to grow up with more. And I want your kids to do the same thing too. Together we can do it. That's the greatness of this country and this democracy. And the greatness of this process is you decide tomorrow. Not the talking heads on television. 
not the pollsters, not the pundits, not the political operatives, you, you decide. I'm comfortable to have my fate in your hands. And I love New Hampshire. And I'll tell you one last thing. I'm going to be President of the United States. Thank you all very much.